In today's video, we're going to take the windshield wiper arms off of this 2016 Volkswagen Passat. The reason we're doing that is because I'm going to show you how to restore them. It's a very easy process. You just need a couple simple tools, but look at all the nice things I've done to this car. Tint, some vinyl wrap, some chrome delete, just all the additions in black, and then the windshield wiper arms. After about two or three years of owning a car being out in the sun, they get faded, white and chalky looking, but it's one of the things that most people overlook. But other people seem to notice that, especially if you're proud of your car, you're showing your car, different things like that. Look at these things. Real chalky, real faded. Forget about buffing them out. We're gonna restore them. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to take these things off, get them restored, put them back on, and you're gonna be very happy you did it. And while we're at it, consider subscribing if you find this video useful. And if you run through the list of videos in the channel, you'll find a lot of maintenance and a lot of modifications for this car. It's a 2016 Volkswagen Passat S model TSI. That means turbo. Let's get to it, guys. First, I'm gonna go over the tools we're gonna need to get the job done. You need a flathead screwdriver, preferably a smaller, sharper one. You're gonna need a ratchet, a 13 millimeter socket, this is a pulley puller, okay? It's a Pitman arm puller, actually. They have what they call windshield wiper pullers, but those things never fit windshield wipers today. I bought one, I had to take it back. They never fit. So get this instead, it's a little bigger. You wanna get some paint. I've got the satin because I don't want them to stick out too much when I paint them. You need some sandpaper, you need a microfiber cloth, and of course, you're gonna need some rubbing alcohol. All right, simple tools. Everybody should have most of those. I'll make sure that I put a link in the description for the puller. It's relatively inexpensive, but you're gonna need it. Don't try it without it. You're gonna scratch things up. You're gonna damage plastic, do all kinds of things, and they're probably not gonna come off without it. So you wanna open up the hood of the car. Europeans call it the bonnet, but anyway, the hood. It doesn't matter what position your windshield wipers are in. I happen to put them in service mode, and uh, I ended up laying them back down because I wanted to show you. It's good to mark these. I'm using a marker. It comes off, no big deal, it's on glass. But I mark them, so that way when I put them back, I know exactly where they go, how they're supposed to go. So that's always a good thing. Now you're gonna have these plastic covers. That's where your screwdriver comes in. You definitely wanna pop those off first. Don't lose anything, put everything in a pile. This is where your 13 millimeter socket comes in. It's as simple as that. Get that off of there. It's Pretty easy to do, it's not really, really tight in most cases. So get that off, put it in the pile with your other stuff. Now we're gonna go over to the other one, do the same thing, pop everything off. I already did that part, but we're gonna take the 13 millimeter nut off of there. Then we're gonna get to the puller. I'm gonna show you how to use that. But please don't go buy the windshield wiper puller. They never work, especially on this car, because they're made for smaller blade arms. Even the auto parts store told me they return them constantly because they don't fit. So I got this Pitman arm puller. It looks exactly the same. It's just a little bit bigger. So position the pulley underneath the blade arm and the screw part should go right directly on top of the bolt head. Once you get that secured, screw it down and I think this was an 18 millimeter. They come in different sizes, but mine happens to be an 18 millimeter hex. So I just put that on there. That's one of the tools I didn't mention because everyone has different sizes. So just put some pressure down on that bolt head and it pulls it up from underneath. Now keep in mind these windshield wipers are spring loaded. That's why it's difficult to get them off. There it is. It popped up and I'm taking that off. Now you just take it, depress it and pull it straight off. So once you get them off the car, lay them down in a place that you can sand and won't make a mess, but you're gonna take the windshield wipers off, obviously. So you're just dealing with metal at this point. Grab your sandpaper, mine's 320 grit. It's just what I happen to have laying around. Use whatever you have. Just, just get the shiny surfaces off of it. Get it nice and smooth, just double check it. It only takes a few minutes. It's not like you're, you're doing a panel on a car or anything. They are just windshield wipers. So once you get that done, put some alcohol on a cloth, microfiber cloth, whatever cloth you have, and then just wipe them down real well, get all the oils and contaminants off of them. So I decided to hang these up with fishing line. That way I could have good access all the way around them to get them nicely painted with a few coats of paint. You can lay them flat, but they don't really work too well when you lay them flat because they do have that spring in them and they don't want to cooperate very well. So I found it easier just to hang them up on some fishing line while painting them. 
shake your paint up very well. Just start with a real light coat and then just go from there. I think I did three coats total, but this is a satin, so it's gonna have a minimal shine to it because I don't want them to pop real hard. They are windshield wipers. I just want them to look nice and clean on the car. Here they are. I let them dry for about five or six hours just until they weren't tacky anymore. You don't want to get fingerprints on them. So they seem pretty smooth at this point, but I think they look great. They look like brand new. So we're going to get these things put on the car now. Before we start that process, we want to make sure we put our wiper blades back on so we don't scratch the windshield. And if you haven't noticed already, it's pretty obvious, but the reason why it's so hard to get off is that they have these little ridges, these little gears here. That keeps the wiper in place. So when we put it back on, don't forget the markers that you made, the lines, however you decided to do that, and line it up perfectly with those, and you'll be good to go. So let's get these things mounted. Same way we took them off, we're just gonna do reverse order putting them back on. So just put it back on, make sure it's in the place that you need it. If you need to pull it back off, it should come off fairly easily to adjust it. Once you get it in place, then you wanna put your 13 millimeter nut on that. Crank it down until it's nice and snug. You don't have to over crank it, but just get it nice and snug. You could put some blue Loctite on that. That will keep it from backing out. It's your choice. Don't use the red stuff because you may wanna take them off again. The red stuff is a lot more permanent, but uh, use the blue stuff if you have it. I didn't for this purpose because I just wanted to show you how to do it. Get them nice and snug. Then don't forget to put your little rubber cap on top of that. That's that. Obviously, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just repeat the steps, put it in the place that you need it, make sure it's aligned. And if you find that after you tighten everything down, everything's not aligned properly, you'll probably have to get that puller tool out again. Just pull them out and readjust them. It's not the end of the world. It's not hard to do, but these wiper blades look great going on so far. Very satisfying to see these look like they do right now. They were so ugly before. Again, a lot of people overlooked them, but look at that. I mean, it's better live in person, but man, I hope the video can show how much improvement that is. They're not popping too much with too much gloss. They're a nice semi-gloss. Test them out, make sure they work right. Everything's great. It's just one of those finishing touches that you shouldn't overlook. That's easy to do. Just do it. You'll be happy you did. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if this video was useful. I hope it helped you a lot. If you have any questions, leave some comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.